Without your support, all these athletes would not be on this field tonight to dedicate our new turf surface. We will be on this field from 7 in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, and we hope to be on it in November and February. There's a great deal of pride here. It'll be an instructional field. It'll be an athletic field, but it's a community field, and it represents your heart, your passion for West Siders. Put $400,000 behind a dream. Right behind that was a commitment by Aurora University. Dr. Sherrick and their board said, we're all in. We believe in the district and we believe in this community. Right behind them, we, we approached our sports boosters and our band boosters, they said, what can we do? And of course, all of you. Everyone we talked to said, let's make it happen. The sports boosters, boosters, sorry, uh, along with the band boosters and PTSO have uh, given a three-year commitment on the field turf to generate funds and we're well on our way. Uh, as of right now, we are probably halfway to our commitment, uh, and that's in the first year. At a time when both West Aurora's resources and AU's resources are scarce and stretched, uh, I want to applaud Dr. Sherrick and her administrative team, uh, Neil Armand and Sunny Hergut, and the board of District 129, and Dr. Rydland, and his staff for their vision, their spirit of collaboration, and their spirit of cooperation that had enabled this field to become a reality for the benefit of both AU students and West Aurora students. One, two, three. Yeah. I'd like to also pay special tribute to the Community Foundation for the Fox River Valley. The President, Sharon Stretti, and her staff have devoted a great deal of time. They volunteered their efforts to collect the contributions, compile them for us, and also audit all of the contributions. And they certainly have been an important partner with us. So on behalf of all your generous contributions to your field of dreams, my pleasure to present a check for one million dollars to the board.